And why eight in the second one? Um, Correct. Why, why yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, okay. I just said in the Slack channel, like, um, there's a bunch of different ways to move forward right now. Yeah. I think one is Chris just gave us a ton of uh, data, and you can start poking around in that. Yeah. Um, I think, as I understand it, there's going to be a lot of images, and then some links to how we're going to get the colors from those images. So um, the images, I think, are in RGB. Chris, where do those images? What, what do those come from? Are they G are they GRI? The GRI. Yeah. So probably what to do is take the red image and. Extract it out. Yeah. Um, Your other option is there's a slime cutout server, so you could just ping it for single images. Yeah, but you'd have to do that, that for a lot of them. And that's easy expensive. There's rhyme or reason. In terms of our bandwidth. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah though all those images are the same ones are all on um, AWS, so it's still at 35% of the images. Okay. Okay. Okay, cool. So there's links to the images. So we'll need to pull, I mean, maybe one. the first thing to do is to try to pull one of those images down and extract um, a uh, cut out from it of just the R band, um, and then to save that in some kind of structure somewhere. I don't know, how big is the data, do you think? It's not large. Not large. That's my favorite kind of data. Um, so we need to take those cutouts, and um, the first step is, the first step with all this stuff is just data preparation, to be perfectly frank. It's not fancy, it's not that it, it's not that big a deal. But if we just had a list of, have you worked with uh, NumPy? Yeah. Okay. So if you have like a, if you just make a NumPy um, object, I guess, that has like an image, I think the thing we need is a NumPy object, has an image of a galaxy, um, and then probably it's our index, so it's position in the sky, and then some um, G minus I color. That I think is probably the same. Is how do we get to that? And what I'd like to do to do that is we can always be start with just a um, repository, a GitHub repository. Yeah. Um, and uh, make, start to make notebooks that do that. So we want to make a notebook that's well documented. So it's like, okay, the first thing I'm going to do is try to download you know, this data. I'm going to do one. I download one link. So Chris sent me this. And, and you know, put that in the, in the comments, right? Um, and then try to do that. And then you push your changes to the repository as you're working. So that would be the sort of like zero thing to do. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. And I'll sort of try to expect a file form. You know, we'll have to decide on what the file form is going to look like. Because I'll start the process of getting the network together. And I'm also going to start the process of posting my videos. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. So the whole world can join us if you want to. Yeah. The whole world gets awake. Um, okay, cool. So, I mean, I can leave this on, or do you feel like you know where you're going? This and you can ask me questions in chat? Yeah, I can ask questions in chat. That sounds good.